Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 21 and in this video we're going to go through the show, hide and toggle functions. <laughs> Alright then class, so in the last lesson you'll remember I showed you these three methods right here. Fade in, fade out and fade to. Now I'm going to show you three more in this tutorial. Hide, show and toggle. Now they're quite similar, well the first two are anyway. Uh, but they differ in some ways which I'll show you in a second. So let's delete this and do a little example. So I've still got this event wired up by the way, attached to the H2, this click event. So when we click this, we're gonna do some magic right here. And the magic is gonna be these events or these functions rather I've just shown you. So let's grab this again and wrap it in the um, jQuery wrapper. And then we'll use the hide method first of all. Now if I save this without any parameters, watch what happens. I'm going to click this here and poof, it just goes off the screen completely. Now this is kind of the equivalent of changing the CSS to display none. It's not really animating at all, right? But I can pass through a value here which is going to say how long that animation is going to take. So I could pass through 1000 which is 1000 milliseconds or just one second and then it's going to animate that uh, hide over that period of time, yeah? So if I click now, you'll see it zooms out to the left, it shrinks in width and height, and it fades out, okay? So whereas the fade out just fades out and it doesn't move or shrink, this does all three. It shrinks, it moves, and it fades out, all right? So that is the difference. Now, as well as hide, we have show. So let's just attach that using chaining. Um, again, if you've not seen chaining, go back and check out that tutorial. I'll leave a link to that down below. So what we're going to do here, guys, is first of all hide it over one second. Then when it's hidden completely, we're going to show it. That is the opposite function to hide. All right, so let's save this and give this a whirl. We're going to click here. It zooms out, then zooms back in and fades it. All right, pretty cool. So what was the other function I wanted to show you? It was toggle. So let's delete those and replace them with toggle. Now, do not refuse, uh, do not confuse this rather with toggle class. Toggle class changes the class of an element. This fades in or fades out depending on its current state. So if it's currently in, then it's going to fade it out and also zoom it and shrink it out. If it's currently not showing, it's going to show it and it's going to do that by expanding, fading it in and zooming it in from the left. All right. So it does that show and hide functionality depending on which state it's currently in. So I'm going to pass through 1000 here again because that's going to be the speed or the time rather which is going to do that animation over. And I'm going to click this so it's currently showing so it should fade out, yeah? And it does. Cool. Now obviously I can't click it again because it's zoomed out so we can't see this toggle in action. We can't see it fade back in. But what I can do is attach this event to something else. And I'm going to attach it to this map. So you can see right here, it's an image with an alt of map. So we can use that to grab it using jQuery. It's image, and then we use our attribute selector with the square brackets, and the alt is equal to map. So that's going to grab that right there and attach this click event to that. Now we need to change this as well because if we click the map, then it's going to refer to the map, right? It's not going to refer to the H2 anymore. So what we need to do is put back in here section H2. And we're using this because it's a direct descendant of the section, right? So now when we click that map, it's going to toggle this H2, meaning it's going to show or hide depending on its current state. So let's save that and give this a Chinese world. I'm going to click here. Oh, sorry, not there because we moved the event. I'm going to click the map and it's going to zoom and fade out. If I click again, it's going to come back in and we can keep on going all day long if we wanted to because this is so much fun. All right, so that is the toggle method, guys. If you have any questions about any of these three methods whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next video.